So okay, let's um, just look at some of these extras now for the the BCF. Okay, alrighty. Starting down at the bottom here, these four pot, uh, buttons are transport controls. Stop, play, rewind and forward. Okay, now, there's the playhead just there, look. Alright, so, if I hit play, it plays. Stop, it skips. Rewind, I press it once and it rewinds at one speed. Again, faster, again, faster, stop. So I can forward now, that's at the slowest speed, stop. Click it twice, it forwards at the next speed. Three times it faster, four times faster still. You don't have to do the, th the amount of clicks for the speed you want straight away, you can increase it by just clicking and it gets faster and faster and faster in either direction. So if I click this once, it starts to forward slowly and hit stop. If I click the rewind four times, it'll rewind fast, stop, rewind, stop. So I'm now going to forward, I'll press the forward button six times. Whoa, it really flies along. See what I mean? So I can start off slow, speed up, and each time I press it gets faster and faster. So that's your forward and your rewind at different speeds according to how many times you press it gets faster and faster. All right? And that's stop. This is play. Okay, that's your transport buttons. These four buttons have different modes <coughs> when you hold down the upper shift here. With upper shift held down, the play then becomes record. Right, so let me just forward a bit. Stop. Hold down upper shift and press play, and it goes into record. Once it's in record, I can come out of record by just pressing this play button again and it will jump out of record and keep playing. Or I can, while it's playing, I can hold down up a shift and hit the play record button and it will drop into record. Out of record. Into record. Stop. Alright. So that's what upper shift does with the play button. Upper shift with the stop button turns on and off the replace function. See it turning on and off down here on the transport bar, that replace button there, look. Upper shift and stop is replace on off. And then upper shift with the forward and rewind buttons is cycle on off, click on off. Okay. The lower shift button works with these four mode pots, the ones that we use for fader pan, EQ, plugins and instruments and sends. All right. Hold down lower shift, and these then change the automation mode for the selected channel. So this is the automation modes, you know, off, read, touch, latch, and right. So keep your eye on those. Hold down lower shift, and these four buttons. The store button is right. The learn button is latch, the exit button is touch, and the edit button is read and off. Read off. So to quickly go into read, just hold this lower shift and click the fader pan edit button and you go into read and then off. And these three are your other modes. Read off. Okay. <coughs> so that's what they do. Now uh, another cool feature is, you know like when we're in Fader and Pan view for example, and it's the same when we're in Plugins view or EQ view or Instrument view, once we're controlling the parameters here. So we're in Fader Pan view, we're looking at the first eight channels, right? And these are the pans, and you can pan them like that. And the beauty of these parts when they're in this use, being used for pan or when they're controlling a parameter of a plugin or a parameter of the EQ bands or the instruments or whatever is that if you press them they reset to their default so I repress these and they will reset to exactly zero fantastic what about the bloody faders the thing is look let me try just to make this one fader for channel 4 set to zero and reset it to zero and it's well I wouldn't say it's impossible, but 
it's damn fiddly. But hallelujah, there's a way of doing that really quick, right? Whichever bank of eight channels you're in, I'm in the first bank, and these faders are all over the place, none of them are at zero. So you just hold down this sort of upper right button, the very upper right button in the, this encoder groups panel, right? And then just pressing what is normally the channel select button resets each fader to exactly zero. Okay, I'll do that again. You don't have to be in fader and pan mode if I'm in EQ mode. Reset, 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 reset. Yeah. Yep, same thing if I'm in plugins mode. Reset, 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 reset. Yeah. Or if I'm in sends mode, reset, 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 reset. So you've always got a handy way to reset your channels to exactly zero, which is a godsend, trust me. Uh, that's your lot, isn't it? There's nothing else worth going into. I mean, that's what it does. And to be honest, I mean, what are these? Like, I, well, I think the euros and the pound of sort of has changed the price of it. They used to be 99 quid, now they're about 110 or something. Yeah? But I mean, for God's sake, 110 quid! <coughs> for all that control, it, I think it's, it's frankly amazing. And once you get used to it, trust me, you will be flying around on it. Um, now let's, let's, let's just look at something else here. For example, it does work the other way around. The, the VCF does follow, to a certain extent, logic. So you don't have to, like, I don't have to select my channel like this in the VCF. Okay, look if I go to here and I'll just, you know, use the left right to change channel, the VCF follows and then it switches to the next bank and follows. And switches to the next bank and follows. Right. So all that follows perfectly. You, you know, you can scroll around using your using your keyboard and the VCF will follow and it'll even bank shift and follow. Fantastic. But what about if we open something? Does it switch into the right mode for it? Well, let's try opening the channel EQ for, for this channel, for example. Or I'll tell you what, no, for that channel, the first audio channel. All right, uh, here we go. Fingers crossed. No, sadly, it doesn't. Okay, so you can't open an EQ and then go over here and you're ready to edit it automatically. Um, you'd have to press into EQ mode twice, so you're in EQ channel mode, and then you're editing uh, whichever page of EQ band, so in EQ band, EQ page two, channel view, so EQ, we're adjusting band three and four, the first peak EQs, and there you go, that's the gain, that's the frequency, that's the Q, and that's the on off, right. Okay, but you know, can't have everything in life, as my mother used to say. Now, so it won't open the, the. It doesn't automatically go into EQ editing mode when you open an EQ. And if I move a send, it doesn't jump into send mode. And if I open an instrument, it doesn't go into instrument editing mode. I'd have to, you know, go into instrument channel view. Oh, for the sorry for the selected channel and I've gone into instrument channel view while an audio track selected so it's 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 chosen the first plugin which is an EQ up there select the right channel and now I'm editing that instrument so sorry let me do that again so I'm in EQ mode say for example and I open the plugin but make sure the channel selected all right and then I can go to upper shift the plug-in button into instrument channel view. I should be then editing the parameters of that since. You know which page am I in? Page one. Is something being edited? There's so many parameters I can't see. Oh yeah, look, and that's the, the filter being adjusted there. And there's the resonance. That's changing the envelope. It's pretty bloody cryptic now, isn't it? Okay. Anyway, you get the drift. But unfortunately, you know, the, the, the Behringer will follow logic in, in, in terms of stepping up and down channels and it'll even bank shift. Lovely. So, you know, uh, let me close this again. 
how that's played with Hamo. So, you know, <clears throat> if I'm in logic and I step forward channels, right, and I've got, say I've got a massive arrangement with 60 channels, and I'll go right up to channel 40 something. I don't have to then step up the Behringer banks to make sure that the two are synced. It follows it around. There you go, look, completely perfectly. Right. So I say, what more do you want for the money? I think these are phenomenal. And that leaves just one last thing, which is using two units, and then it just gets even juicier.